Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Elnaz. Today's video is all about balcony makeover. We love to come out here and enjoy the outdoors and have some dinner and enjoy the sunset with my family. But my balcony was so boring that it wasn't very inviting. So we thought, why not giving this balcony a makeover? We did some fun DIYs for flooring and some decorating ideas. So hopefully this video will give you guys some inspiration and ideas so you can go ahead and decorate your outdoors patio or balcony. Um, and you can enjoy it more often for this spring and summer uh, if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe below and give this video a thumbs up let's take a look so this is how my balcony looked like before we start the makeover it's kind of boring and uninviting First step was power washing the balcony. I really suggest you guys invest in a power wash machine. Um, it's great to clean your balcony, garage, patio, driveway. I bought this specific one from Amazon, which I will link it below in the description. So I decided to use these peel and stick vinyl flooring tiles that I purchased from Walmart to elevate the look of the balcony. Then you need to make sure you measure the corners correctly and then mark it on the tile and then you can use a utility knife or a razor to cut it. It was actually kind of difficult to cut this uh, tile. You just needed some manpower, which I had my husband. So thank you, Brian, for helping me out. Um, but the rest was pretty easy. I should also mention that on the box it said not for outdoor use but after doing some research and watching a few YouTube videos we decided to go for it. I'm not sure if it's a good idea but I can do a six months update if you guys are interested. So comment below and let me know if you want to watch that video. And when you get to the end, again, you just measure, mark it with the pencil on the tile, and cut it with the utility knife on a razor and peel and stick. If you guys want to try this at home, maybe not in your lanai, but in your garage or indoor, like your bathroom or laundry room, make sure each tile is as close to each other as possible. You don't want any gap in between. One thing I kind of struggle when I was peeling off each paper from the back of the tile, um, not all the paper would come off easily as you see right now. So I had to make sure to get it off before I stick it on the floor. I just gonna let my husband to finish the rest and cut the corners. Meanwhile, I'm gonna start on decoration. I had this watering can that I will be using as a waste, and I purchased some cheap plants from Walmart. 
let me know in the comments below who is the plant lover. I decided to use this stone texture finish spray on my plastic black pot holder. It's a great budget friendly way to give this uh, pot holder a new look. And this is the final look for my pot holder. We are also all done with the flooring. It came out so nice, better than what I imagined. Hopefully it just stays this way. Please wish me luck and give me some love in the comments. I wanna hear from you guys. Now my favorite part, decoration. I purchased this uh, cute outdoor round woven rug from Target, but I'm mainly using all the furniture that I already had. I think I purchased this set a couple years ago from Lowe's. I'm not sure if they still have it or not. I also purchased these two lanterns from Target. It's so many ways that you can decorate with lanterns. You can use them indoor or outdoor. And I'm just gonna go ahead and continue decorating. This is how my balcony looks like. Now I have an inviting outdoor area for me and my family to hang out and enjoy the sunset. Hope I inspire you at home to do the same for your outdoor areas. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so so I can continue making these videos for you guys. Hope I see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.